hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this session in this session we're going to be looking at day trading the 30 year US Treasury bonds using some of the strategies from the day traders fast track program this is a new market to me personally that is I don't trade the Treasury bonds however we have I think uh, last count 11 or 12 of our members are very active in this market so they've just asked me to give a quick overview on a couple of setups just as a comparison of how I might consider trading this market now what is interesting is doing my research in looking at the 10-year bonds today uh, so we're by the way the date is it's Monday the 12th of the 12th and it's uh, 5 27 p.m. in my part of the world so we're during the globe accession there's been a massive 142,000 contracts traded on the 10-year bonds and on the 30 years there's been close to 20,000 traded now if we compare that to the ES the e mini contract there's only been 82,000 contracts traded so uh, there's very very large volume of course trading in these markets on a daily basis so very very interesting let me put it that way so let me just put up the risk disclaimer as we move right along here understanding the risk uh, what I'm not giving you here is investment advice of course it's for educational purposes and if you haven't read the risk disclaimer for some time uh, if you're a, a uh, an existing member please do if you're a new member please pause the video and make sure you read the risk disclaimer that would be great now also if you're new to my channel please subscribe uh, even better still go to my website and request my ebook I have a, a training manual available free of charge now I've got an ebook uh, the truth about day trading and even more importantly join us as a member we've got hundreds of members globally uh, that are members of the day traders fast track program for $197 and I promise you said will be really quick you get my 12 top day trading and swing trading strategies there is no upsell there's no coaching programs to go and buy and I include my indicators within that for the four major platforms so that's the end of the advertisement so let's get to the chart and get into this so what we're looking at here on the left hand side is the 30 year US bonds Treasury bonds now what I've done is just looked at here and just put up a 144 tick so I like the 144 tick as an example on the NQ uh, most of my traders know I usually trade the NQ with a 133 but 144 very little difference but for our Fibonacci fans there's the 144 and I thought just on the right hand side rather than have an anchor chart I just put up the 55 tick for the globe accession now each one of these uh, ticks here on this market is 3125 so it's quite a size it's uh, in tick size so if we look at this is one two three four five six seven tick movement in that move now if we were using for an example here the t2 setup we're waiting for our close below the eight one two three there's a good three to four ticks or a good up to $120 in that move but what I wanted to point out I've marked up the chart in a little, little more detail further along but what I did want to show is just as I was just setting this up here's our classic t7 uh, we've got classic divergence here a classic t7 and at $31 uh, nearly yeah, $31 a tick there's some really nice moves we've got here let me just scroll along a little bit here at classic 89b 200b uh, so there's some um, is a classic 34b there's a 200b there so the behavior of this market if you're taking your highs in a direction we don't have our anchor chart here there's some really good moves in this market but let's go to a whole day that I've marked up here so looking at this here we can see very much we're in a downtrend we've got a t1 set up you've got um, uh, slight divergence there lower low slight divergence here to go long then you've got your t7 you've got a 34b you've got here um, you've got a t10 so there you've got a nice 200b you've got a, uh, a t9 of course in between you've got here you've got a number of uh, t25s you've got a 34b now personally I would have been stopped on this trade because I like to tuck my stop two ticks above the high and we can see here it actually ticked up two ticks but then I had my secondary entry 
there's a t9 now by the way this is 5 a.m. in the morning so we're in the globex session still you've got here uh, a t9 you've got then a change in market direction we've got divergence here uh, you've got a nice pivot bounce so 730 in the morning okay you've got a t9 you've got a nice uh, t3 set up here you've got an extreme you've got uh, a nice t7 with divergence now is 144 you've got uh, a t7 with the trend which we really love these um, you've got there right uh, your classic uh, 34b 34b so for people that are uh, sorry the general public that are not members these are some of the codes of the different setups that we have but once again the the evaluation here is just about how I feel this is a uh, as a market well we can see here that we've got some great trends and that's really the most important thing I had a uh, uh, a new member asked me the other day about um, um, trading a range I'm not a great range trader I'm a momentum trader I like trends and I have a rule that if I have two stop outs uh, I'll stop and wait for a new trend because what I found from history is that if I enter the market and I'm stopped out twice it's usually because I've entered a chop zone and I'm just not into trading tight ranges it just I'm just not all that great at it I'm a trend trader I'm a momentum trader I'm a scalper and looking at this and by the way we're looking at Friday's price action so what was Friday's date the 9th I think it was so this is Friday the 9th so come Friday afternoon um, I'd advise most traders you consider um, uh, packing up early and having a having an early day because we tend to find with all markets we tend to get very choppy but if we look at this here you've got a nice uh, t9 again you've got um, t1s I haven't even been calling all of the t2s that you've got with the trend so you've got a ton of trades uh, in this market and so it's a great market so like all markets you want to get to know the personality of the market now what it also means is that at $31 per tick if you have a t1 entry usually means you're going to have a stop of at least four to five ticks which means you're going to have a stop there of uh, probably upwards of $150 so that means if you're staying within your 2% risk parameter you need to have somewhere around seven and a half thousand dollars per contract uh, to stay within the 2% maximum risk rule so that is a consideration that uh, I would want to be very cautious of for an example here this t9 signal we did not get until we had that tick there so that's a one two three four that's a six tick stop so we're looking at about hundred and ninety dollar just to have our stop two ticks below that swing low that's about a hundred and eighty hundred and ninety dollar stop which um, yes it was a really nice move and uh, one two three four and let's just be conservative say we picked up five ticks out of that so it's depth you're getting the moves but it's a stop that I would be a little concerned about where say if you're looking at the ES usually my stops a maximum of six ticks which is $75 on the NQ 14 ticks which is around the $70 plus your commissions uh, on CL maximum maximum of eight to ten ticks which is 80 to $100 so that is one consideration but on the other hand some of the bond traders we've got have been trading the bonds for a long time and they know the personality so you may choose of course just to have your stop one tick above if you're taking a t25 or a two to five candle retracement trade well there of course you may only have a three like on this particular one here you may decide because uh, of your targets you may decide just to have your stop one tick above that little swing high which means of course you only have a three tick stop on this particular trade so there you've got a one two let's just say a three tick target now of course traditionally with your swing traders you want to be going for a two to one risk reward but if you're scalping like we're talking about here one to one is probably more of a norm and maybe your second contract you're going to let trail now what I've done over here is just put up a 55 tick and let me just uh, disengage something here for you just um, just remove this so what I've done is put up the 55 tick because the market is much slower now even though we've had uh, 20,000 contracts trade 
this is from the open of a session uh, which is 8 a.m. Sydney time Australian time and we can see here that I would probably uh, strongly consider the 144 tick during the main New York hours and looking at the 55 tick uh, for the after hours market and you can see here you had a nice trade there if you tuck two ticks above there you, you might find one tick you would have been stopped there's your re-entry you've got a trade here you've got this classic 200 bounce and as I say you want to get to know the personality of this market look at this here you've got a nice 200 B you've got a 34 B I mean you've got multiple other trading opportunities now for scalping one or two ticks as some of these traders are doing and uh, I, I can see why you like this market but you just want to keep your stops in uh, fairly tight of course right there you've got whoops just one candle too early there you've got a nice uh, t2 there you've got a nice t2 here you've got a t2 here you had a, uh, a t2 on this candle right there now for those that are new to us uh, a t2 is a very mechanical approach to trading um, and uh, it's it's basically what I call 95% rules based the the discretion is do I have a trend and to make sure we're not around any red flag news announcements and of course I would be recommending traders you're looking at a time frame three times higher as far as confirming the trend so in summary I can see the uh, there is some huge volume looking at this during the volume during the New York hours uh, on the both the 10 year notes and the 30 year notes if you're used to trading as I say with all traders uh, with yeah with all traders and all markets if you're really good at one market and you become a member of a day traders fast track program what you do you look at what we do and you say how can I apply these strategies to what I already know how can I make or do better and apply these and make what I currently do better and um, because I can see some great trades in now you may find uh, and just in closing that uh, volume chart charts work really well you may prefer range or of course for many of you your time based charts and uh, for those members you know that I love tick and volume generally speaking I prefer range on Forex by the way so hopefully this is uh, just giving you some ideas uh, please drop me an email if you've got any other questions but um, uh, otherwise a formation of this market um, it really if I didn't tell you it was 30 year bonds you could have thought it was really virtually any market and that's the beauty of trading of course is that tr day trading strategies should basically work on all markets and time frames any stable good long-term methodologies so um, traders and members that uh, specifically asked me just to give this quick recap I hope and look at look this nice t3 there okay you can see it there classic so uh, hopefully this uh, it was beneficial to you thank you traders